order is not a solution. Unfortunately, our brothers and sisters in the newest state in Africa, which is endowed with oil, are killing each other today. There will be no one country that will be uh, inhabited by one tribe. There is no such country. But if you say that you don't want a particular tribe, and you believe that you are going to heaven, you are not going to decide which tribe goes to heaven. Now, are you going to tell God that, oh, I don't want to go to heaven and be a neighbor to a Madinka or a Jola or a Syria? Take me back to hell. Because if you go to hell, also you find them there. I think this world is big enough for us to accommodate each other. It is also small enough for all of us to live together as a closely knit one family of the human beings. Violence will not take any country forward. The more we fight in Africa, the more backwards we become, the more the poorer we become, and the more we are exposed to external dictate. Even food aid now for, for conflict areas is being politicized. I think rather than spend those billions on arms to kill each other, let us spend those billions on agricultural machinery, agro-processing, where it, Africa is lagging behind, mining equipment, petroleum drilling equipment, and set up our own companies. Unfortunately, there is even less intra-African trade. And our trade with the outside world amounts to billions of dollars. But we trading even amongst ourselves is a problem. Why can't we, for the sake of our children, the sake of our continent, and for the dignity of black people all over the world, unite, reconcile, work together as a formidable continent? Because we are the wealthiest continent on the face of the earth in terms of natural endowments. Unfortunately, in realistic economic terms, we are this the poorest of the poor, everybody is looking blue upon us. Whereas our own natural resources are being used to fighting those people that hate us. The same natural resources, our own natural resources are being used to kill our own people. The pan Africanist. I am very concerned about the happenings in Africa, especially West Africa. Yagot of recent, I have seen the ECOWAS introducing the anti d'etat unit. Unipur coup d'etat, the power has stopped. Who got death? They will form a big unit. Minyao attack. We are not in support of Kudeta. Let me make Ndugu zangu wa Afrika, tunahitaji kuongea ukweli. Na kiongozi huu anaongea ukweli mtupu. This is a naked truth. Na anaongelea kuhusu mambo ambayo yanayojiri katika jumuiya hii ya ECOWAS ambao wanakitarisha kikosi cha kuenda kwa mapigano nchini Niger lakini yeye anasema kuwa mapigano hayo hayahitaji hayahitajiki hizo pesa ambazo wanaziweka kwa mapigano hayo waziweke kwa mambo mengine ya kuendelesha mbele nchi na anasema kabla wa tume kikosi hicho wanahitaji kuketi na wajiulize je ni nini inasababisha hizi makudeta na anasema kuwa kuna viongozi kadhaa 
ambao katibu yao ya nchi inasema ya kwamba nafaa kuongoza two terms lakini zikiisha anaanza kutafuta njia zingine za kubadilisha katiba ya nchi ili aongoze tena tamu zingine na huyo sasa akipigwa kudeta anaanza mapigano anaanza kulalamika na anasema kwanza watu washughulikie boma zao washughulikie nchi zao kabla hawajaenda kupeana misahada kwingine na kwa bado mambo yanaendelea kuchacha shida ni mingi mzao lakini wanakubali kutumiwa we should not accept such kind of things it's a time for us africa kufungua macho na tujue ukweli ni upi na tuanze kupigana na wale wote ambao ni imperialist wanataka nchi zetu ziendelee kuwa na shida na mivurugano na mizozo huku na kule tuwe na umoja to invest pesa zetu kwa development za nchi zetu tuachane na mambo ya ukabila na mambo ambayo hayafai kwa nchi zetu sikiza president huu the echo was introducing the anti coup d'etat unit Nous pour coup d'état la pouvoir stop ou codef de reform la big unit de ñaw attaque We are not in support of coup d'état let me make that very clear And I want them to hear this We are not support or in support of coup d'état I was a member of the Pan African Parliament and have advocated strongly for us to introduce a term limit to make sure that we do away with coup d'etat in Africa especially in West Africa. Yeah, yeah. So meaning I am not in support of coup d'etat but I have a concern before setting up a unit or anti coup d'etat unit in the accords is it in time that the african head of state or the ecowas head of state look into the reason why there are coup d'etat what are the root causes of coup d'etat let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti coup d'etat unit let them put their house in order and i believe their house is not in order this unit is set up to defend them and to protect them only nobody else what is more coup d'etat then your national constitution gives you two term limit five years two terms after serving 10 years you want to change the constitution for another term is that not a coup d'etat <laughs> because you feel you have the powers to do that the soldiers have the powers to coup d'etat that is also an order coup d'etat and they are living with them there they are there in the name of civilian putting on mobs clothes calling yourself a democrat when you loot all the resources of your country mislead people torture them imprison them but they have a businesses to ask and you call that a democracy or a civilian rule and a illegally elected government the leaders must stop lying to their electorate first they must stop the corruption they must stop looting our resources they must understand that they are not a better citizen than anybody they are given a responsibility a role to play to help develop the countries 
and make sure that there is peace and tranquility and respect the constitution of the country. But this is not happening. Example is this government. This government has lied to people in 2016 that they are going only for three years. Was that not a lie? Who asked them to tell people that we are going for three years? Were they forced to say that? They went down the whole country, lied to everyone. When the people started reminding them, this is what you promised us, they threw tear gas on them. And the president is bragging, yes, when I threw tear gas in them, they never came back. Does does that not anger the citizens? You throw tear gas on your people. Some of them are wounded and you stand out there and bragging that I throw them a tear gas. They never come back. That alone can anger the citizens. You promise the people you will have a security sector reform. It's never happened. The civil service sector reform is never happened. The Ghana Commission, Ghana Commission was violated before the end of the Ghana Commission. When you take all the assets of the former president, and now you are busy buying assets, you don't that wrong. I thought they should have learned, or they could have learned from this. Unfortunately, they are not learning. So before you create a unity to go against any atom of coup d'etat, put your house in order, stop lying to your electorate, stop lying to your citizens, stop losing the resources of your country, stop corruption in your country. And then you can talk about anti anti coup d'etat. When Alpha Conde was killing his people in Guinea, <laughs> after serving 10 years, he said it was not enough. I want to serve another time. During the process, so many Guineans were killed. And I did not hear any efforts going there or condemning them. You know why? Because Guinea was too big for them, or Alpha was dancing to their...